Hey folks, it's Brad here from BNT Catfishing Adventures. Today we're going to discuss planer boards and how to use them for catfishing. Stick around. All right, well, planer boards have been used for many, many years to catch various types of fish, and now they've grown quite popular for catching catfish. Now, on our channel, we do a lot of polls uh, in our community section and asking people if they're old style fishermen or new style fishermen or somewhere in the middle. And we have a lot of the old school people are starting to try new things, which is a good thing. Now, I tip my hat to you fishermen out there that just like to do the hook, line, sinker, and bait and sit on the bank and just kick back and relax. Because really, you know, many times that's what fishing is all about is just getting away, getting out, relaxing, and having fun. But there's some of us out there that are trying for that lifetime catch, that one in a lifetime fish, that big, huge fish. Or some of you are interested in starting to compete in catfishing tournaments. So you're looking for an edge and planer boards are designed to help give you that edge. Now we at BMT Catfishing Adventure have not been using them for very long. We actually bought some last year and only started using them a little bit, but we're starting to pick that up a little more and, and use them. Now planer boards are really very simple uh, in, in what you do here. You're going to set your line out. You may drop it over the side of the boat. Now, you bank fishermen, stick around. I've got a tip for you as well, you know, talking about planer boards here. But usually planer boards are used uh, in a boat. And what you're going to do is you let some line out and you slip your line, this clip through your line. And on the top part here, this front part, you're going to clip it on your line and then you drop it overboard and it floats out. Now, planer boards are designed to carry your bait and your hooks off to the side of the boat, okay? This is giving you a wider spread than where you may have been before and trying to keep your lines from getting tangled up. So you've got these widespread boards, then you may cast out some more in the middle. Now, a lot of times you're used using these boards to drag weights on the bottom or slightly off the bottom if you're using like a Santee Cooper rig. But other times you may be drifting and suspending your bait up off the bottom using these rigs as you just drift down, covering more ground, looking for more fish. This works great. Uh, when the, the fish hits, obviously the planter board is going to act. Some of them have little flags on them and the flags like signal you that there is a fish on. You reel them up and you can leave them on there as you're reeling them, as you reel your fish in, or you can unclip it, take it off and continue to reel the fish the rest of the way in. Making this very, very simple to use folks. It's not difficult at all. It's a lot of fun to see these baits, or, you know, being spread out by these boards, giving you a wider search pattern for those catfish. Now, you bank fishermen, I told you I had a little tip for you. You get to the bank, there's a little bit more current than you like. Uh, you know, you don't want to necessarily throw a brick out to keep your line in place uh, because of the wind or the current is currently possibly blowing your line down the, the bank there. So uh, what you can actually do, uh, you get the proper planer board that's going to carry you out in the right direction. You clip it on. After you've set out a little bit of line, you clip that on, pitch that out. Now that current that has been working against you, that wind the whole time, is now going to work for you. And it's actually going to take your bait more out towards the middle and of course you stop your line where you want it now is this going to work in really 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 heavy currents in the heavy heavy wind no 
uh, it's not the planer board will not act correctly in that scenario but if it's just enough where it's causing you a fit dragging your line down down the bank there a little bit or pulling it into the bank as it goes down a planer board may just help you out get that bait where you want it so it's right there for the fish where you think they are maybe out there in that deeper water Folks, I hope this helps explain planer boards a little bit more. I know on a lot of videos, they don't explain them super, super well. Uh, like I said, they're easy to clip up, easy to use, and the purpose is to spread the baits out on either side of your boat. Uh, and so you can throw your other rods and you know lines out in the middle and get a good wide spread in search of these catfish. Folks, I hope this helps you. Uh, if you like this, give us a thumbs up, please. We can use the support there. Be sure to subscribe, and uh, we hope to see you soon, either on the bank or in the boat. You guys take care and have a good day.